Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I'm just doing a little bit of an intro. I filmed this a little backwards because I went and got a new pram and I picked it up last night and I was like really excited to pull it apart and wash it, but I was not prepared to film. So I just like <laughs> did a really quick film. Like I didn't talk in it. I just did like a quick overview of pulling all the fabrics apart, putting in the washing machine, and now I'm going to show you guys how to put it all back together with my words. So here's how you take it all off, and then I'll show you how to put it back on, and I'll use words, so if you're taking it off, then do the opposite of what I'm doing, if that makes sense. I should probably tell you that it is the Baby Jogger Bursa that we are doing. I believe it's the City Bursa. It is late at night. I'm like talking really late and I <laughs> wanted to wash all of this and put it out to dry so I can do a few things with it tomorrow, have a look at it, have a play and it'll be all nice and clean. And this fabric dries really quick so hopefully by tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon at least it will be dry. Now the capsule I'm just going to hang up but the pram, not really the hood, more the seat. I read somewhere, oh my god, <laughs> everything fell out. I read somewhere that you should always put the seat back on to the frame because sometimes it won't fit. See all those clips? We want to clip them all on because sometimes it won't stretch. And that was read from uh, Baby Jogger themselves. So this is the Baby Jogger City Versa. Let's pop that on and that will be the only thing that I pop back on tonight. And then I'll put it back together properly tomorrow and show you how to do it all. I might even take this back off and show you how to do it just so that it dries fine. I loosely put this seat on. The bum boards are still here. I'm gonna go hang this out on the line overnight. Are you ready for brekkie? Look at that little tail. Come on. That's mine. Do you want some brekkie? The seat is still slightly damp, so I pulled this up and put it in the sun for a while. <clears throat> This is kind of slightly still damp. I might turn it in this way. I'll just like turn everything around. These are okay. The hood seems okay. Mostly still got like a little bit of mildew. Oh, you went something really soft. This hood's wet down here. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. So I'll leave it out for a little longer. It's like 8 in the morning, so that's probably why. 
Everything is still a little damp. By 10, I think we'll be good. So it's in pieces at the moment because we need to put it back together. But I'll give you tips along the way of anything that I feel like I might have needed to add last night, but I didn't add. Okay, first things first, this seat is put on with snaps. So you can see all of these snaps around here. Uh, Baby Jogger suggests when you dry the seat fabric that you snap it back on, which is what I did because sometimes they can shrink and you won't get it back on. But I wanted to show you guys how to put it on. So it's literally just all the snaps. But we also need to put the bum board and the backboard in. So let's get those. Here is the bum board and the backboard. Let's put the bum board in first. So that goes down the bottom. If you hear weird noises in the background, that is probably a dog. She is about the size of me, so who knows what kind of noises she'll end up making. And if she'll end up coming in here, which will be a pain. So slide this in. And you've got Velcro. She's like rolling around the carpet. Okay, put the Velcro layer on top. It's this way, with the pieces up. has a little weird shape at the top where the baby's head would go and now we're going to pop this in the way that the baby's head go needs to find this little grey lever and the other feet where their feet go at the bottom so let's snap the first ones on at the top and it's really easy to put this on it literally just snaps it's really quick so much easier every other time okay now with the end of this there's like a hard wire in here and there is a slot in here so what we do is we feed the wire through it's up to you if you want to attach it out or not but um, sorry it's up to you if you want to attach this first or not or if you want to put this on first but I find that it's fine or easy to do it this way slide that in and it just honestly slides all the way around until it gets to the other side of where it needs to go and then you just put the frame back in when you put the frame back in you have two options so there's the first button or the second button now this will give you a shorter or a longer seat so I'm going to put mine on the shorter setting so to push it in you just press the grey button push it in and if you want to push it in again push the grey button in and then push it in again it will look into the second button you can see that's on the second button and there's the other button there so if your baby gets bigger you can uh, 
extend the seat, which is a pretty cool thing that Baby John have done. Now let's add, I think, the hood. So the hood can go in the wash all as one. It does have a hard bit on the back, but it is a-okay for the wash. What I did is when I took this off, is I put it back on exactly how it came off so that I would remember which side went where. And that way when I take this off, I'll know which way it came off. So take these off. Remember, don't lose your screws, because <laughs> that would not be fun at all. And this back piece went at the back, so, sorry, the hard piece here with the Velcro went at the back. And that's how it also stays onto the frame. So we want to thread these through. Just like that. So we're all threaded through. And then we have our clamp to put back on. So we need to make sure it goes on the same way as this one. So like that. That's on the inside, so that one goes on there, and that one goes on there. Oh, that didn't really push in. Sometimes they're a little bit tricky. There we go, and you gotta line them up to the holes. Now, one screw goes on the outside and one screw goes on the inside. You can see the holes are bigger. See how this hole is bigger and that one is smaller, and then this one is bigger and that one is smaller. Screw the screws back in. A little hard with one hand. I can pop your hood back on. I actually realized, I think I had it clicked on here before and I was wondering why it was sitting so weird. Because I clicked it on the wrong spot. It actually sits on the frame. We want to make sure that the hard piece is at the back with the Velcro on the seat. We're going to line it up. Like that. And we need to clip the clips on either side. And then we want to make sure that our Velcro pieces are, sorry, not Velcro, magnetic pieces are not <laughs> on the other one or the hood won't come out completely. Okay, there's our hood on. Next thing, we'll take the seat off and we'll just pop it down over here. We'll put the basket on. So if you remember the basket had the uh, hard piece at the front and it goes like that. So you need to get on. You've got your little screws at the front and you clip it on and pull down. Again, clip on and pull down. That's how the front sits. Go to the back and you've just got snaps again. So there's actually places on the frame where the snaps go to. And we'll pop our seat on. So we're basically done with the pram, but I also have the maxi cozy to do. Now for the pink maxi cozy, or any color maxi cozy, they're all very similar. So we took our cover right off. To do that, what we did was actually unbuckle at the back of the straps. So the straps are attached to this little piece, which is attached to the front piece, which actually controls the strap length. 
So to put it back in, we need to thread all of our straps through the correct holes that we want them through and set it to the correct setting when we're putting it back in. It's always good to get a cloth and wipe over the straps just because that's where, you know, you ever can get food or milk. Sit up and it just, if it gets stored away and it's not used, mold likes to grow when it's not cleaned properly. So I like to use baby wipes most of the time. They seem to be really good. Uh, they suggest that you only use hot soap and water. Um, the manufacturers of the car seats, but it's up to you what you use. I'm just uh, wiping it down at the moment. It's not too dirty, but I just don't want there to be anything on there for it to decide to grow mold later on. We start with putting the pink cover on, or the cover on, whatever colour it is. We need to thread all of the holes through and figure out which size we're going to make it. So the first ones that come through are these shoulder straps, but they actually come through from here first because it's a five point harness. So you need to put them through. Let me show you. This is the seat hole, this is the seat cover here. So these ones here are actually the first holes that we will be coming through. These ones. And then from there we will go into one of these ones. So I'm thinking maybe the second one up. And then it will go through the back of the capsule and I'll show you what it does then. But I'll let me put this in first. straps twisted. look like here and this is what it looks like before so we want to see this hole we want to pull that down put that through so it sticks there and this is what our straps are looking like pull this cover down this is the front hole this is where we lift up and we can see the adjuster this is the crotch strap where the buckles are going to come from, we need to make sure that they're not twisted, so I'll do that last before I clip anything in permanent. Pull this down, do the same thing over here, make sure like the little grey buttons line up. <laughs> There's so much to line up with one of these, but it works really well. Get a bit of hole again. There it is, and that goes. Eek. This is hard with one hand. Down here, I can't. I just pulled everything down a little bit. So let's pull. <laughs> it doesn't want to go. Come on, there we go. Make sure that the hood uh, piece is lifted forward so that the capsule goes, the liner goes behind that. Cover, liner, I don't know what you call this. Capture of fabric is probably a better word for it. So it's really tight fitting. You see everything's on there now. We just don't have our straps. Am I? Did I put the straps in different holes? Yep. <laughs> so this is what you don't want. So this is the third one up and this is the second one up. So we're aiming for the second one. Let's fix that. And you need to make sure that it's the same back here. That one goes through the second one. So let's go through the second one here. And then the second one here. And then put this back on. And you see how this all lines up and the fabric goes underneath that. It's really neat and tidy. It's very cool. 
when we get these the right way, they need to go that way into the buckle. So I like to clip them in. And then we know which way it'll go. So this needs to turn around. So that should be right. It's not twisted. And then this one needs to buckle in this way. And then the straps need to go this way. So yeah, do that. No, this way. Damn it, it came out. <laughs> one second. Okay, this is what we've got so far. If I were to lift this forward, you can see that all the straps are straight. It's just that we don't have any tension because we've got to put this on now. So let's get rid of this big cord on top, throw that over. That is actually the tether cable. Now I had that wrong and mixed up with this one. This cable here, or this, uh, what is this even called? I can't even think of the word. This strap goes on to both them. You can see how it lines up. So I'm gonna figure out how to do this with one hand. It's not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> you need to get that, yes, in there. Dang it. So that goes in there like that. I was gonna say, I hear a big dog moving, but that's okay. They both go in there and you can see it's all straight. And then what we can do is actually tighten this and the straps will now tighten because they're being pulled through at the top. So let's go back to the front. And now the straps are tight. They're nice and tight and there are no twisty, turny, whatever you're going to call them. That's all good and it's all nice and clean. I totally forgot to put strap covers on before doing that. So if you want to put the strap covers on, you have to do it before you do all that. These are really good, it's the crotch buckle protector, so what it does is, I'll put that on last, but it slips in, I'll show you, and the little buckle goes here, meaning that it gives a bit of layer or padding between bub and the belt, or the, the buckle really. We'll put the head straps and, sorry, the head spot and the straps on. We'll have to do the straps first. So let's pull these out. You know that they're all lined up, so they'll go straight through again. I want to keep them straight and I like to put them on there's no really right way but I like to put these facing this way I'm pretty sure they spin around actually so that goes on there like that we want to keep the strap the way it was and then this one goes on here like that you don't have to have these on I just think they're an added thing and then this is the Max Cozy head support. Now, I'm not a thousand percent sure which way this goes. I think for younger babies, it goes like this. And when they get older, well, if you had a really young baby, actually, we're gonna go this way. So, put the head support in. I'm really not sure what this is for. Does anybody know what this little loop is for? I've never known, <laughs> and I used to sell these. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this through. Through the front. And again, through the front. And then we're gonna go through our preferred strap hole, which was the second one, and it should be already lined up. And we'll turn it around. Get this tether strap out of the way. We need to find the tightening strap. Flip it all the way over. Put these through, make sure that it's not twisted. One and two. And now we'll be able to tighten the harness. 
two more things to add now all the buckles are in I'm happy to pull this apart because I know they're straight we want to put this in here so that like I said oh so that there's some protection between the crotch buckle and the baby so that should just slide over here it just doesn't want to right now there we go and then to keep it in you just poke the little tab inside here and it should just stay in there and they don't normally come out unless maybe they're tugged at a lot and that's how that works last thing to add on is the hood so to add the hood on we need to unclip one of the sides just be kind of gentle you don't want to break it and it's a really weird clip it is the large visor part the hard part of the front goes at the front and then this uh, goes along it what way does it go we want it to go this way so this side goes in and then we just have to clip it in here and it stays. They used to have little clips, but I don't know if these ones have little clips or ties. It just stays on there. If you use the capsule on the pram, this obviously goes around in the car and then clicks to the little tether strap. But if you're using the capsule on the pram, you can like fold this up and there's a little pocket in the back. So it's nice and neat in the back of the hood here which is pretty cool. Where is it? Just there. It's hard to see, but because it's probably designed to be seen from this side. Can you guys see the little pocket? We're going to put this cord in there. And you can see the strap all the way up in there. It's all dirty and messy. I'll have to fix that up. I don't really understand the pockets in a way because it just pulls the hood down. See how it won't sit up now because it's got all that weight with that big clip in it? So I don't know. I like the idea but it's just not the best idea ever. And then if you want less hood you can always flip this under. If you want more flip it out. This was my video on how to clean, pull apart all the fabric of a Versa and also clean and pull apart the fabric of a Maxi Cozy. The reason I did them together is that these are actually a travel system so the capsule goes on the pram. And I don't know if I've done a Maxi Cozy one yet, I probably have, but I was washing it so I figured I would just film it anyways <laughs> because these came together. And I will be doing a pram review on the Versa with the travel system. I don't have the bassinet, but it does have a bassinet. I'll talk more about that in the review video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure that you do give me a big thumbs up and come and subscribe. There's more videos. I haven't bought a pram in a long time, but we've all been talking about prams the other day and I decided that I've been wanting a Versa for a long time, so I got one. <laughs> Alright, thanks everybody. Bye!